Surabhi, your master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu and welcome to the second session of Know Your Elements. Mm, so you guys have already guessed, I had given you a hint in the last session, right? So congratulations, every one of you have guessed it, right? Was it so easy? Uh, this time it will be difficult, huh? Yeah, so if you're wondering why are we, why do we have the separate series for uh, elements? Because, you know, we will be studying about elements in one or the other session or in one or the other chapter. But uh, in those chapters, we tend to focus on very popular elements. See, um, sodium, chlorine, carbon, highly reactive, less reactive. So, you know, most of the elements with unique properties and interesting facts they'll be forgotten so you won't get a chance to learn about them so through the series we want you to we want you to learn about those elements too so that is the reason we have come up with this new series i hope you do support it I like how you have been doing for the other series too so thank you so much and as you have guessed our today's element is phosphorus so what is the thing which everyone knows about phosphorus? Its atomic number is 15 with atomic mass 30.974 that is 31. So but there are other interesting uh, properties which you will be learning in today's session. Yep. So before that if any one of you are facing any of these problems, doubts, notes, tests and assignments, competitive exam, choice of schedule, choice of language, I never had, you know, I didn't even know that, you know, you will have freedom to prepare your own schedule because you know whenever teacher asks us to come we have to go and sit and listen you know and one more major concern i had uh, when i was a student is doubts i tend to ask a lot of questions okay not only when i was a student even now when someone is explaining something i'm like yeah why is this like this why not and all that but most of the time i was like Shh, i'll explain you later okay so come to the staff room so my doubts most of the time it was not clarified or it took time so that was the major problem I faced uh, when I was a student. I guess most of you can relate. So how about I tell you there is this one platform where all of these problems can be solved. It has been solved. So major, major, major concern as I told you, not only for me, many, most of our students, you know, they said this is the main problem they have been facing. So we have in-class doubt solving where there will be master teacher, class teacher who will solve all of your doubts. So we'll make sure that the student will go back with zero doubts and notes and assignments will be shared with you, tests will be conducted regularly and once you are a pro subscriber, once you take up the subscription, so whatever the new courses we are coming up with, maybe with the competitive exams, KVPY or Olympiad, NTSC, could be so you can enroll into any of the courses for free and schedule and you can prepare your schedule. So what if I tell you, you will have the freedom to uh, prepare your schedule, you can choose the teacher you want to learn from, the subject at what time you want to learn chemistry and which chapter also. So we have this very unique course called as micro course which has been my favorite. So where every master teacher will teach same chapter at least twice. So you can always go back, you can revise, you know, because here I'm in the almost in the fourth chapter. I cannot, if I, if you ask me about first chapter, I cannot teach it again, you know. But eh, with this micro course, you can always learn any chapter, any time with the teacher you want to learn from. And performance report will be sent with you and of course you will be getting personalized attention so if you are very happy you're like yeah finally i found a solution all you have to do is just visit vdnt.in slash ytpro and three easy peasy steps select your grade you know right and your board and click on to the get subscription but before that just go through it we have three different plans so whichever is okay for you go for it but i would suggest six months is a really good plan because if you apply the coupon code, okay, S-U-R-P-R-O, you will be saving 40%. And you know, if you have, if you are very good at math, do the calculation, you will be paying almost less than 10 rupees per session. Less than 10 rupees. I guess you can get a chocolate pie in that. 
So just visit vdnt.in slash ytpro and do not forget to use the coupon code SURPRO for additional 15% discount. Okay, moving on about a phosphorus. Mm. Did you know it is sometimes referred as devil's element? Why? Because it was the 13th element to be discovered and because of its explosive properties, it has been referred as devil's element. Nice, that's a unique nickname. The element phosphorus, it was discovered in 1669 by a German alchemist who was trying to make gold out of urine. He didn't want to discover phosphorus, okay? So majority of the discoveries or inventions, it has been done by accident. You know, so I would like to tell her, go on, experiment, keep experimenting, try to do something. You never know, you can discover something. So alchemist, he was trying to make gold out of urine. So phosphorus, as I told you, it was discovered in the year 1669 by Henning Brand in Germany. So he discovered phosphorus in urine. Okay, so he could extract the phosphorus element from urine. So phosphorus, it was named from the Greek word light bringer because you know it actually it glows, right? So that is the reason. So as I told you, Brand he isolated phosphorus from urine. And there are isotopes. I guess you all know what are isotopes. The isotopes are the atoms of same element with same atomic number but different mass number. Okay. So one stable isotope, see most of the isotopes, they won't be stable. In our case, uh, phosphorus ke case mein 31, that is the mass number 31 with atomic mass 31 is the stable isotope. And there are 22 radioactive isotopes, not one or two or three, there are 22 radioactive isotopes exist ranging from 24 pp is phosphorus here to 46 p and you know even in biology you might have learned you know the phosphorus cycle there are this uh, very important elements present in our body also right so it is a vital part of living cells including nervous tissues bones and the protoplasm of many cells protoplasm you know right what is what will be there inside the cell can i yeah i'm not very good at biology Okay, so it is a part of DNA, RNA, ATP and cell membrane. So the phosphate bonds which you can see here, what is it made of? Phosphorus. See, mm, phosphorus is a part of, major part of DNA, RNA, ATP that is adenosine triphosphate and the cell membrane too. There are at least five phosphorus allotropes. Now what are allotropes? So, you know, Whatever the, the chemical combination will be same, composition will be same, but the physical properties will be different. So this element phosphorus can exist in five different physical forms, at least five different physical forms and they are known as allotropes. So the major forms, major two allotropes are red and white phosphorus, red phosphorus and white phosphorus so how do you get uh, this red phosphorus is when you heat the white phosphorus take care so and whatever i told you this was the hint i gave you right which which is the element that is used in matchbox so on the sides of the matchbox you can find that red color thing right so that is actually a red phosphorus and coming to the white phosphorus it glows in dark it is a waxy solid and very very poisonous and the lethal dose that is you know if you take if you consume more than 50 mg of phosphorus then the person is gonna die okay so as i told you before red phosphorus is formed when white phosphorus it is heated to 250 degrees celsius and forms a vapor and they those vapors will be collected under water so white phosphorus to red phosphorus, you need to heat the white phosphorus to 250 degrees Celsius. See phosphorus, I know calcium is the major element present in bones, but even phosphorus is also found in bones and ashes from bone was an early source of phosphorus. So the ashes, when you burn the bones, so they could find phosphorus in bones. So it was an early source of 
phosphorus and your phosphorus it is the sixth most common element in the human body because see it is in uh, dna rna cell membrane atp and phosphorus is the seventh most common element in the earth's crust and where do you use phosphorus so phosphorus is very much important in agriculture so it is used as a fertilizer phosphorus is used as a fertilizer and one more thing in the matchbox see it is used in flares safety matches light emitting diodes and steam production so as it glows so that is the reason it has been used and this is it about phosphorus i really hope you many of the facts which were unknown to you also because few of them even i didn't know trust me i'm being honest even i did research and then i was like wow okay so this through the series even i am learning a lot and i guess our next element mm i'm a soft silvery golden alkali metal with a melting point of 28.5 degree celsius melting point is very low so can you guess our next element if you can do let me know in the comment section write it let me know how was the session was it useful did you already know few facts and uh, did you get to learn something from phosphorus or is your favorite element phosphorus do let me know in the comment section i'm so curious to know about your opinion So if you want to take up the subscription here is a reminder so just visit vdnt.in/ytpro and use the coupon code SURPRO SUR SURABHI Thank you so much and if you liked it if do do not forget to share this with uh, your friends also so that even they can know about some interesting properties and facts about phosphorus and do subscribe if you are here for the first time and do not forget to like the video thank you so much till now it was surabhi your master teacher of chemistry at vedantu till we meet again do not forget to keep loving chemistry elementary chemistry by vedantu and everyone stay safe stay happy stay home thank you so much